so now we gotta name it. Yeah. Uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. Are you screw? Are you screw? All right, that sounds screw. like a good name. Awesome. Boom. Done. Cool. Are you screw? All right, so that's yeah. that's a good first deck. Uh, then the, we can also build like faster decks, like we can build Zoo, Shaman Hunter, and Future Times. Okay. Let's do that. Well, yeah, we can yeah, yeah. do that next time. We'll figure we'll figure something out. So yeah. we could even we could even do like a our test run game if you want. Yeah, let's do it. All let's right, do one really good. quick game. What time? How many, yeah, we got time. We got time to do. Yeah, it. We let's got do time. a quick game. Yeah, we'll we'll steamroll our opponents. Like this is a lot better than your opponents probably have. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's see. All right. So like the way Cthulhu Druid works is yeah. you wanna you wanna get your ramp in the early game. So Living Roots is a card to keep because it's an early game removal. So it's Wrath. Activator, so activator, like the two mana two three. So like anything that's like three or below that. Well, okay, two or below you definitely keep pretty much. Okay. Um, mulligan, and, right? That's yeah, that's, that's a mulligan. And then like if you have the coin, so okay. like if you have that extra card, then uh, then three drops are kind of okay too. Okay. So, so we want to get rid of all of these. Yeah, those those don't cost. <laughs> <Our> yeah. <laughs> one time I see this card actually in a hand. Yeah, yeah. We don't want this. Okay. Fingers crossed. Okay. All right. I don't really think it's not the worst. <laughs> no, that's a that's actually a pretty decent hand because like okay. against Hunter you want to you want to stop him from playing stuff. Okay. So one of the good things about Living Roots, right, is it deals two damage or it summons one one sapling. So okay. like if you're going first and uh, they haven't played anything and you know they're an aggressive deck. So like yeah. if they're a controlling deck like Rogue or like a controlling as in like they're not trying to rush you down. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like Rogue, Druid, Mage. Uh, Warrior, you don't play those Living Roots turn one, but right. like uh, against Hunter, you probably would. So that's one of the classes you do it against. Okay. So you summon two one one saplings, and now you can <laughs> so like do deal two damage. <laughs> deal two damage to face. Holy smite face. Okay. All <laughs> and, right. Yeah, yeah. And then cool. Yeah. yeah. So that's against uh, against Shaman, you don't really want to do it too because you really want that two damage removal. Like this is just for future uh, stuff. Oh, okay. So, so like a, again, like a shaman would what like so what why would I not want to play against a shaman? Um Give so like, like the two damage doesn't uh the the two damage hitting doesn't really do anything, right? So yeah. you chip away a shaman, it somewhat sometimes clears board, but most of the time they're dropping totem golem, which yeah. is a three four and you're not trading up against it. Okay. Or uh they have Maelstrom Portal in hand, which does one damage to everything, which right. should which is gonna clear your one ones. And usually that they don't have a good reason to play it. So right. like it's just a pretty shitty card for them until like until you play your one ones. All right. So then what we're gonna we're gonna probably do? Do you want to do that probably? Uh yeah. yeah. That's, that seems like a good play. Yep. Go. Since uh yeah since Hunter has like uh, unleashed the hounds and the, yeah. that sort of you don't want to put too much yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you still want like spot removal. So. See like but like to me I I honestly the guy I probably would have done that. I would've been like oh I got four damage on the <laughs> like I'm just gonna go and then he unleashes the hounds and they're all done. Yeah. Um, also like. You, you think about your next turn, right? So turn three, you don't really want to use the innervate, right? Because you don't have a five yeah, cost thing. Yeah, yeah. And then you have like three mana, so you can't use swipe either. So okay. having living roots right there as a flex thing is pretty nice. Yeah, okay. So then we'll just do two damage, right? Yeah. So you can deal two damage. And then. Yeah, so kill that off. And then I can actually. I can still use this. Well, okay. Oh, okay. Did I, I did it too quick. Yeah, I, yeah. I felt like I was like I'm a little bit too quick, but it it kind of doesn't matter. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Wild yeah. Growth is really good because uh, it lets you ramp up into higher cards, so you can way like, quicker. Yeah, yeah. So you can also play multiple cards together. That's why ramping right. up is really nice. Oh, okay. So usually you want to play Wild Growth as soon as possible, so that you like because later in the game it doesn't yeah. really get get as good. Okay. Um, but like in the late game, so once you're at like seven, eight, nine, or even like right now, yeah. probably because you're curving out. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to play Wild Growth in the middle of the game because at 10 mana you can use it to draw a card. So oh, true. that's something that's not written there that, <sighs> yeah. that you should know, though. Oh, did I, oh, oh yeah, yeah. so we entered. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right, we're taking our time. Yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah, see, I, got, I jumped the gun, man. I was, pretty, I was <laughs> like, I got this, boom, I know what the next play is, but so clearly I don't. Yeah, well, I mean, with this hand, right, so yeah. turn four, uh, you're probably playing... Uh, you look at Innervate, right? So Innervate, you always consider once you have it in hand, right? So you have two mana crystals, so you add like two to your mana crystals so for your like max. So you have like six okay. possible, right? And that card in your hand costs six mana. So we should probably use that. Yeah, you should probably drop that down. It's, it's a, go to a boot. It's pretty good. A boot. Uh, what about this one? What is this? An intern deal? Okay, so there are going to be so many imps. Do we want to? What do we want to do here? Do we want to go face here, or do we want to take out the imps? Okay, so. 
in uh, in a situation like this, you're asking like yourself, how do I deal with that uh, one four? So your next turn, you have swipe, you have wrath, and you have wild growth in hand. Mm -hmm. So you're probably going to use the swipe uh, to swipe that off, okay. and then. So killing off the imp doesn't really do Matter, anything, right? Yeah, so I just go face. Yeah, with so you go turns. face. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You want the free damage. All right. Like a lot of people miss out on the free damage because they're like, oh yeah, we have to make the trades because yeah. it's one one against one one. Or, yeah. Like it's an efficient trade, but you have to yeah. like just think about your next turns and be like, all right, is it going to be easy to remove or yeah. not? Oh, he doesn't know what's on it. Do that. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, he's like, wow. <laughs> all right, we'll take it. Yeah, I, I'm super okay with this. <laughs> yep. And we gotta keep our swipe. Yeah? Oh. oh. Okay. Not the end of the world. It could have been a bad. I wish it was the other guy. <laughs> the one like in three. Yeah. He looks like Groot from. Uh, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, would it make sense to use. Let's see. No, I guess not. I because it's just a draw, right? Can I do? Does that have to be a minion or one damage? Uh, no, it has to be a minion. So like, if you if you were really in a in a dire position, like let's say his board was really scary, yeah. you would hit face with the one one, or you would yeah you would probably hit face yeah. with the one one, then you would draft your own one one, and then uh, get it to well yeah. yeah. I guess if you were in a scary spot, you'd probably wrath his minions because like it's not scary with him having okay. his none. Well, like, there's, there's a possibility you wrath your own minions, but it doesn't happen that often. So here, what do you just do? do you, should we, you'd probably use that wild growth and then just shapeshift, maybe? Okay, so you're definitely shapeshifting because you're not swiping, right? Yeah. So sometimes when you're doing turns, you're just like, all right, I'm definitely not doing this, and I have the mana to do it, so I'm definitely okay. hero-powering, and you start attacking face. Okay. Then you can, like, decide what you want to do at the end. All right. Um, so in this case, since you have a six-mana play and you have a seven-mana play, you don't really want to play wild growth. Anyway. All right, so then we're just going to end turn. Yep. So, yeah, since we didn't uh, play the turn, or, like, you, you know on that turn where yeah. we didn't play it? So if we played it on that turn, we would have six mana right now, so we could play yeah. the Dark Arakoa. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, which is a future <laughs> thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, now we only have uh, Cthune where we're ramping up to it. Like, we have Cthune, which is a ten mana card, and then everything else we can pretty much play except the seven mana card, but we already have a six mana card in hand. Yeah. So, like, the fact that we miss out on it doesn't really matter. This is a perfect time for Swipe. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good swipe. What do we just get? All right, so we have six. Do we do we want to do another one of these, though, or do we want to do the swipe, get rid of him, and then trade, you think? Um, honestly, you could pretty much do whatever you want, and you, you end up with a win. <laughs> the win here at this point? Yeah. I mean, I... You're, you're way ahead right now. Okay. Um, so either of those lines are, uh, are fine. Like, well, oh, actually, you know, here, we'll do this. We'll do yeah. a swipe here. We'll do this, do this, 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 and that. Yep. That's good. So if you swipe, that was the correct line to take. Yeah. So that was good. <laughs> like, I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit. I was like, all right, okay. That's, that's yeah. reasonable. I still have my 5-2. I mean, he could... No, he can't use that on that. That's yeah, no, major. he can't. That's majorly the only ones that can do that. Yeah, so he has to use a card to remove it, which is really annoying for him. Yeah. Um, okay, I guess it's not too annoying. Oh, <laughs> shit. I forgot about Arcane Chai. <laughs> it's <all right. laughs> There's no one uses that card. I mean, worst case, we just play another one. Yep. Uh, he does have Deadly Shot, though, right? Because Deadly Shot's a basic card. Okay. So it's a three mana kill a random enemy. Yeah. So if we drop one Dark Arakoa, yeah. it might just die to that. So that's, uh, that's something so, scary. We'll then this play. Um, oh. oh. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's great. All right, there we go. We can we can see it in action before that. That's, yeah, right. This is, this is awesome. Perfect. This is gonna be sweet. Yeah, this okay. is literally perfect. All right, so, um, so we'll now see. this wild growth is actually useful to play because if you play this turn, right, you have nine mana next turn, and then you play Dark Arco or whatever next turn, and yeah. then ten mana you play Cthune. So you gotta play Cthune a turn earlier. So so and wild growth is really good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is wild growth. Yeah. And then probably him, right? Yep. And then you also want to reduce the damage that you take, even yeah. though like you're at a really high health total, you still want to do that. Okay, so, so we're still oh, uh, not not that not that way. Yeah, yeah. Wrath and kill the four three because this thing heals us for one, whereas wrath would have healed us for uh, four or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's okay though. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're still, okay, we still get the win. Wanna, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, we we still get there. But see, this is where like uh, this is a normal game, right? Where I normally would just uh, like I yeah, would yeah. mess it up. Yeah, you know? like that. That would probably like a, a few of those. Yeah, a, a few like, of those, and then you start losing games, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah we, we probably sh uh, <laughs> won't lose. 
<laughs> we Don't. probably won't lose yeah. now that uh, we've talked about it. Yep. Well, great. So you can still use Wrath, though. Yeah, you can still use Wrath. You still have the air code to, like, stop the damage, right? So he's not going to get a ton of damage in. Yeah. Um, also, Deadly Shot's not going to um, for sure hit your Dark Arakoa. Yeah. And if you use a Deadly Shot, it's not hitting your Cthulhu. Okay. So you're going to... Oh. Hmm. Um, that's, uh, that's sort of interesting. You might... So you're definitely dropping the Dark Arakoa, right? Yeah. That's happening, for yeah. sure. Yes. All right, the question is, like, do you want a Wrath... Uh, and hit the 4-3, or do you want to develop the Twilight Elder? Um, you probably wrath the 4-3 because um, you rarely... So a lot of damage, yeah, yeah. Right? You barely lose ever in this situation, right? So the only way you could lose is if he deadly shots, your, hits your 5-7. Yeah, you wrath and kill one. Uh, he deadly shots, hits your 5-7, and then he goes uh, kill command and then hero power. So, like, you just want to remove that option from losing. Now, should I attack him so that if he attacks him, which he uh, has to? No, because if he attacks him, then he attacks in again, right? And your 2-3 is still there. You haven't taken any extra face damage, and, like, you can still kill it on the backswing. So we're just going to end turn. Yep. But, like, if you traded your 2-3 in right now, yeah. he could just uh, play Deadly Shot and for sure hit your 5-7 because oh, it's a random, uh, random enemy minion. Okay. Okay. So you can, like... You can use turns like this if you want to like learn to make reads, right? So yeah. if he doesn't play Deadly Shot right here, he obviously doesn't have it in hand. So you'd be like, all right, all right. I can play around that card a little bit less because yeah. he has to get it off the top. Okay. Yeah, so he takes one trade, and then, then he has a three damage card. Yeah. Maybe. Oh. Wow, okay. that's interesting. <laughs> okay, so. So, all right. Uh, you just uh, You just drop it. What? You gotta drop, drop it. it? You just drop, drop it? it? Yeah. Watch. Ready? Wow. That makes me feel really good. Oh, no. That was unlucky. Oh, that was so... Cl what the heck? I know, right? Oh, my gosh. All right, so... That's like the worst scenario. <laughs> yeah, you could have either killed the 6-3 or killed him, right? And decided to do neither of those. Should I just go for it? Or uh, I mean, you, you have to make I the mean, trade to play to around. Yeah, so you want to play around, like... Unleash the Hounds and stuff like that, so you yeah. have to make the trade yeah, right there yeah. because you're killing him next turn with Swipe anyway. Wow, okay. Even Unleash the Hounds, like, I get that. Oh. Uh, that kind of makes sense, but that's so unlucky. Yeah, so if he has Kill Command, we lose. <laughs> uh, right. It's because we didn't use Wrath that one turn, but it's okay. Oh, Don't worry. Well, uh, he doesn't have it. We just have to believe. <laughs> he doesn't. We gotta believe. Oh, God. He might have it. <laughs> he did the deadly thing. shot. Oh, no. No, please. He probably has Kill Command now. It's, it's such a basic card if he doesn't have yeah. it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. He said I have the... No! Oh, my God. <laughs> He's one off. One off, please. Don't have a card. Don't have another Worst card. Worst case is swipe, but... No, don't have it. Uh, is he oh thinking God. about how to kill us, or is he like... I don't know. Oh, he's playing something, Ooh. though. No. <gasps> we win! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well played. <laughs> oh, shit. Boop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Dude, that is... Oh. That was, uh, 24 rank. Yeah. It wasn't close at all. No, no. It wasn't, we were we, we, just, we knew we won every time. Oh, wow. God, I got some gold, too? Sick. Yeah. Okay. All right. That felt really good. That felt awesome. Hell yeah. Matt, thank you for coming out this episode one. Yeah. Of hopefully, a, like, an eight-part series of us getting to rank 15. Me getting rank 15. He's just really going to kind of help him. Yep. Yeah, I'll so back off in future around. times. Yeah. Exactly. Um, other than that, though, thank you for coming out. We got we got a nice club meeting to go to. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments or something, um, and uh, we'll figure it out from there. Thank you again. All right. Peace. See you.